When I started traveling in 2009, I immediately started going as far away from home as possible to the most remote locations. What's the farthest on the map from Florida? Let's go to Southeast Asia, let's go to Singapore. So we kind of Googled it and, and figured out what the logistics would be and we decided to tell our parents that we were going to transition our lives into this and we used the words location independence. Initially, I was very, very excited to see the companion come into existence because it was something brand new that I immediately knew would empower my creativity because it's powerful enough to run all the applications in the Windows platform and be the Cintiq that I can use to draw and have input directly onto the device itself. So I think initially I thought it would add uh, to my workflow and productivity. What I didn't expect is that it could replace other tools that I was taking with me. The Cintiq Companion Hybrid is a completely different product than the Cintiq Companion where the companion is a standalone device, a standalone computer in the tablet design. The Cintiq Companion Hybrid is a mobile Cintiq. It doubles as an Android tablet, which is great, when you're in travel mode with all the artistic applications and different things uh, that you have there, or even me sometimes, I just want to watch a movie on an airplane. It's not just that the tools are powerful enough or fit the form factor for these environments, but they actually inspire creativity. So for me, it becomes kind of fun. It's like, wow, you know, can I actually get these same type of work done on an airplane than I can in my studio or my simulated Airbnb apartment? Can I get this stuff done in the passenger seat of a car? Can I get this done in airport lounges? Can I do this at the coffee shop? I learned a long time ago that I don't need a controlled environment to be creative. I just need to be creative in my environment. And I think these tools are empowering us to do that everywhere.